Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition, the final edition of uh, the week of the, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Uh, hope everybody is uh, having a good trading day. Yesterday, again, nothing going on, couldn't make any money, lost some money yesterday. Uh, th the action was, ter in my opinion, I, th I thought the action uh, was really, really terrible. You had a distribution cycle underway. And again, what, what today really proved that what I've been kind of saying for many, many years, and I said this yesterday on the video as well, if you, could, if you watched last night's video, uh, you'll notice I said, look, you, you don't need to trade every day. And once you finally see that you're getting a bad hand, right? Uh, we talked about this in nausea. Uh, just kind of get out of the way. And that's the most important part because, again, you just don't know what you're going to be dealt the next day. And today came... Um, I had an open mind. Um, I wanted to see exactly what the market was going to give me, what kind of hand. And the most important part, what we saw today versus yesterday, was value today versus lack of value yesterday. And it really does drive the point home. Again, you don't need to trade every day. Okay, You don't need to be uh, one of these traders that tries to squeeze water out of a rock when there is no... Uh, when there's no water there. And today was a, a pretty pretty solid day. You had uh, bounce plays, you had longs, you had short pivots. Uh, you kind of had everything. But what it, what it did really drive the point home today is that this is right now a trader's market until we validate or confirm one way or another, both long and short. And if you look at the QQQs, they're not going to really give you a great picture, right? If you, if you are a bull, right, if you are a bull of this market and you say, well, this is just great stuff, the market is kind of resting, everything is all good, right? Look at the big run we had. If you're a bear, you're talking about, well, the market just can't get going. The Dow was up 500 yesterday. Most of these names were down. The market was up again this morning before they, they got pulled and they were got down. Now you have uh, Netflix, for example, reported today. Uh, and again, can this be the domino? Again, this is I'm, I'm kind of making the bearish case. Can this be the domino that finally uh, gets the you know, bears in control? And again, if you look at Netflix today, again, it's almost the same case scenario uh, as we talked about last quarter. Was this run up, right? going to be baked into the stock or is this going to be one of those scenarios uh, that the market goes takes it higher and we saw again we saw again we had 600 call buyers coming in uh, 645s we saw some 700 call buyers we even saw a guy come in for the September 900s so right after the close if you look at their numbers they weren't great at all not at all uh, Netflix down uh, about 10% after the close, uh, everything is getting uh, taken down with it. And the question again for tomorrow, because again, the bulls had spent the majority of their day today, uh, in the, especially in the tech space, underwater. Okay, There were pockets of strength, and we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. There were definitely pockets of strength that kind of gave you some pretty good cash flow. But for the most part, they were trading underwater. And I think, you know, kind of going forward, uh, tomorrow's session and uh, maybe even spilling into next week. I think you just got to sit back and just trade the channels. Again, you, you need to be, a, you need to be, okay, you need to be sell biased until we start reclaiming the five day moving average. If you notice yesterday on the queues, we failed, right? We failed on the five day moving average. Again, for all you guys who are joining us just for the first time uh, on this broadcast, the five day moving average is one of the most underutilized area of interest. For me, it's short-term sentiment. That's what it represents. For most people, they don't even know it exists. So the idea that the bulls failed to reclaim the five-day moving average yesterday on the queues was kind of a big, big deal. Now, again, you had a, you had a, a hammer being put in here a couple days ago, attempt of a rally yesterday got failed. You had another attempt of a rally today that got failed. And again, tomorrow, the bulls are going to be Again, in the, in the line of fire. Again, can they continue to hold uh, major levels? And if you look at this whole rise here on the NASDAQ 100, every single time we tested this bottom channel, this rising bottom channel, we bounced. And the latest, latest time was a couple of days ago. So this 252 level uh, kind of going forward is going to be very, very important. Again, there's two levels you really need to watch uh, in this channel. If you see how tight this channel is, this is why I'm saying going forward, this has to be 
uh, considered a trading channel, the epitome of a trading channel market, both long and short. Cash flow, take profits, break even. Cash flow, take profits, break even. So you have to the upside, you have 262.70 uh, to the upside needs to confirm for the bulls. And for the bears, you are looking for 252.50s, 252s back to the downside. Everything in between, depending on the day and depending on you know, the average range, a lot of traders are going to be uh, faced with the idea of a chop factor. That's kind of what we had yesterday, but at least we expected uh, that chop factor yesterday. Today, uh, again, completely different story, uh, kind of back to business, uh, some good longs, some good shorts, uh, some good bounces. I caught a nice uh, bounce uh, on, on, on Netflix. We caught a really nice bounce on Netflix on the remount of the 10 day moving average when they first try to sell it off. So that was a pretty good as well. So all in all, uh, back on the horse. I, I think the most important part about today's session, we didn't let yesterday's hangover of nausea and lack of follow through. Remember the distribution channel, the guys are fighting in, in, the, in the phone booth, right, bull and bear. So again, men mentality in this tape is everything. If you made money the day before, you gotta leave it the day before. If you lost money the day before, you gotta leave it the day before. Every day, it's only as good as its next day starting pitcher. I know it's a crappy uh, baseball analogy, but again, I'm desperate for sports. I'm using anything I have here. Uh, so going into tomorrow, again, um, again, I, I want to be a little bit sell bias tomorrow just because, again, just because I understand where the macro area here is on the queues. If you look at all the other indexes, again, you kind of see the same story. Uh, again, spies are kind of resting. That they, For the S&P to really start cranking, the spies really need to reclaim uh, this whole area here of 324. You can see how many times it got rejected here. Uh, if you look at the IWM, same thing, you know, right? You know, they, they try to remount. Uh, the 200 day moving average here. They did a great job hanging on to it, but again, tomorrow's open just on everything. Cause I'm assuming Netflix is gonna take down a lot of the tech space. Uh, it's again, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be tested again. Can they hold on uh, to the supply that they reclaim? So I, again, I, I wanna be a little bit sell biased tomorrow just because there are some pretty good setups. But again, this market is definitely giving some pretty good opportunities, especially today take yesterday out of the equation again what i was proud about it uh, us again we sat and we waited we didn't need to kind of validate yesterday valid you know even even talking about the day before i almost called yesterday kind of a mulligan type of day kind of just let it go away uh just because we knew the chop factor was going to be uh for tomorrow yep yeah, there's definitely some names i like i, I think we'll definitely get some value uh, for tomorrow's session. Again, I probably will start my day tomorrow at the 10 o'clock channel just to get a clean view of what's what. And again, I want to see if the bulls indeed want to uh, defend, right? Defend the first beta name uh, that reported. Next week, you got everybody. You got Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. You got everybody, uh, but Netflix always leads. And again, you can't say one fail. They're all going to fail. But again, for the time being, uh, Netflix is down uh, about 10% after the close. But again, if you're a Netflix bull, can you really be that upset? I mean, look at the run on Netflix share. So uh, let's talk about today's session. Again, good value today. Some pretty good value indeed. Uh, Zoom, right? Here's Zoom. Uh, here he levels. 47.50, uh, 247. If it builds below, can flush. I thought there was a shot it was going to get down to 240. But again, in this type of environment, you just want to take advantage of your flow, right? So here's the 247.50, uh, 247 level, got down to 243. Again, not the biggest trade in the world, but again, a nice moving here. This is the only trade. Uh, this is the only, uh, let, me, let, me, let me get the Roku first. I missed the, I actually missed the 52.80.53 pivot. Um, so I got in on yesterday's high, uh, ran up about a dollar and change. Uh, I took a lot of it off and the rest of it I used break even. So pretty good Roku trade here. This is the only trade, at least for me, didn't work. Um, I shorted, I, I shorted uh, shop. It went down like a few points and I just held it up, held it up, held it up. I wound up losing about 370 or so on the trade. Again, not the end of the world, but again, just a pain in the ass to trade, but again, it is what it is. Uh, Amazon got murdered today, uh, 29.50, well, I wouldn't say murder. I don't wanna use the word murder. Uh, 29.50 support, if it starts to build below, can flush. Uh, next area of support, 29.22, 29.06, and so forth and so on. Uh, here was Amazon, really nice move, really, really nice move here. So 
Here's the 2950, right? Here's the 2950, all this area right here. It went all the way down. I said 2922 first support, uh, went down to 2918. Really nice move, really nice move on Amazon. Uh, did I, I forgot to watch SC. What did SC do today? I had a pivot here uh, below 106. Never got there, never got there, maybe for tomorrow. Uh, Peloton never got there. Uh, Netflix actually had a pretty good move. Um, and there was actually, before it got to 29, there was another pivot in the afternoon that took out the pivot, took out 29 and traded all the way up to 35. We'll show you in a second. Uh, so that was a really nice move here. So Amazon, nice move. Uh, Beyond obviously never got down to this level. Uh, nice move on Zoom. To, uh, caught a, again, caught a pretty good trade on Roku as well. Uh, Amazon again getting killed here. Uh, nice. I mean, the, okay, I don't again. I don't want to say nice move. Uh, fifteen twenty went to fifteen thirty two on Tesla. Um, so that was that. Oh yeah. So here here is two really nice pivots in the afternoon. Uh, Netflix five twenty five needs to build for the afternoon spike. Here is uh, Netflix. And again, this is my point that you can trade channels. You, again, you don't need to be uh, you don't need to be biased on one side, or, especially right now. So here is the five twenty five, and it confirmed you know, confirmed that confirmed the five twenty nine. I initially put in uh, went all the way up to five thirty five. Really, really big move, obviously before uh, before earnings. Uh, Amazon also a really nice move. Uh, Three thousand needs to build right here is Amazon. So here is 3,000 right over here. 3,000, I said there's a shot against the 30, uh, 25. It went to 30, 32. So really nice move on Amazon as well. So you had Netflix and Amazon in the afternoon. Uh, again, take on the way up. Use break even as your stop. Uh, take on the way up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Amazon, big move. Again, big move. Uh, Tesla new highs, yada, yada, yada. So and I think that was it. I think that was it. Uh, yeah, I think that was it. So, uh, and we also had a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, bounce plays today. Um, I caught a two dollar bounce play, two and change on Netflix uh, off the ten day moving average. Space was amazing. Space was a very very uh, big mover, especially. I think the biggest move on space actually came from the twenty one bounce. We also had a pivot that I forgot to put in the Twitter feed uh, from nineteen eighty five. So I apologize for you guys on the Twitter feed. Ran up to like twenty two. Um, so pretty good day, pretty good solid session today. Uh, I think the name of the game right now is just to, again, just kind of being open-minded uh, for everything. Um, and again, if you if you find yourself in a day that things are stalling out, okay, that, that again, they're just not highlighting uh, what you're doing and what your strengths are, it's a pretty easy fix, just guys. Again, there, there's no such thing as bravado, as ego, when it comes to trading. This is the business that your bravado and your ego are gonna eat you alive, okay? Both, again, both trying to validate the point that you're smart, nobody cares, and that you're right, nobody cares, okay? It's all about price action. When the price action is there, like we say all the time, step on the gas. If it's not, be an adult, stay passive. The next day, you'll always get better value, and that's exactly what we saw today. Guys, God bless you, everybody. Have a happy Friday, and I'll see you all on the video over the weekend. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.